Hello, this is Matt with 3G Store, and I've got the Windows 8 Consumer Preview that was released today by Microsoft. So we're just going to take a quick look at the uh, new interface and uh, just a couple of problems that I've noticed with uh, Parallels 7, uh, getting everything installed. The first thing that I want to point out, if you are using Parallels, is you do have to disable the Smart Mouse, otherwise you're not going to be able to click on anything. Uh, you're going to need to, to go over here and you're going to want to stop the uh, OS from actually running. After you do that, you'll just need to go into your tools and under your options, just go over to advanced and make sure you have smart mouse off. If you have it on auto, your mouse isn't going to work and you're not going to be able to do anything. So this is the basic interface here. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of like the uh, launch pad on the Mac OS X. Uh, I don't like how it's kind of partitioned off. You've got your start menu down here. Uh, if you move the mouse over here, any open applications you can kind of drag around. If you right click on those, that gives you the ability to close the tasks. So some of the applications here, I've tried a few of them. I don't have um, the calendar or anything like that set up, but here's the basic weather app. Now I do like that you get a lot of different charts on here. I'm surprised you don't have any real-time announcements, but again, this is still well in beta form, but uh, you can click on a bunch of different uh, video options there, as well as get a description with some uh, more detail on that. Uh, you can scroll over to the right and you do have some other options available. However, the last time I did that, uh, it locked up on me, so I'm not gonna scroll over there. Uh, again, to get back to the start dashboard, uh, you just navigate to the lower left and click on that there. Uh, so let's take a look and now I tried to load the maps, but the maps doesn't seem to work. Uh, one app that I actually really liked was the, the finance app that's integrated into it. So here's a quick look at the uh, finance app, and what I like is the horizontal scrolling on it. Uh, you get a lot of information about whichever stock that you're currently looking at. So this is kind of the default view here. One thing I didn't like is there's no way you can click point to point on a chart to see like the highs and the lows over a specific point in the day or the, the week. Uh, that's pretty standard, and you would think it'd be integrated into the app. But you can scroll over, you've got your watch list, and again, you can click on a company there and get some more detailed information there. So this is actually a nice app, and it's kind of a uh, little bit jealous that uh, Mac OS X doesn't have something integrated like this, uh, like the stock app on the iPhone and iPad. But let's go ahead and jump back out of here. That's another thing, it's kind of hard to, to close out of the apps. I just jump back over to the start menu here. <clears throat> now their uh, music application is actually really good. Uh, this is kind of their attempt, uh, what it looks like to dethrone iTunes here. So you've got your spotlight stuff and you can click on any artist here. So we'll just click on Carrie Underwood. And then you've got the option to view all the albums. We'll just click on an album here and let's just do a preview here. Now, I do like that it is animated where you're not really get, getting the animation uh, if you're familiar with iTunes, but you can start playing that. You can see it'll play in the background. If I go back to the start menu, it's currently playing on there. Sable here. Now that's the one thing you'll notice about the smart mouse is it's really choppy, so it'll take a little bit to get used to. I don't know if Parallels is going to patch that or come out with a better update so it's a little more friendly uh, if you want to test out the Windows 8 application. And then you have your main desktop, which is kind of the more traditional view. However, you're going to notice the, the start command is no longer there. Again, you just 
go over to the start menu if you want to check out the applications on it. And then over on the right hand side, uh, you do have your settings, the devices, sharing. Again, I don't really have anything set up. I just installed this a little bit ago, so I've just uh, started playing with it. But then you've got you know, your standard control panel for all your settings. So everything is just kind of more or less moved around on it a little bit. Now, let me jump back into the, the start menu. When you first install this, you're going to be on a uh, administrator account. So under the administrator, like the weather and all these apps, you're not going to be able to use. However, when I create another account, you're going to notice that your mouse just kind of disappears. So the only way I've been able to combat that is jump over to a, a new user and just start clicking around randomly on things off of the, the main desktop here. And eventually you'll be able to see your mouse again. Otherwise, for a while, you'll probably get frustrated. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a video setting or not. I haven't really messed around with the, uh, the RAM or anything. I just have it uh, defaulted. It's, uh, what is it? On the video, I've got 256 meg, and you know I've got one gig running right now. Uh, spec on the machine. Just uh, iMac. 34i7, so I could bump that up and it probably run a little smoother. I did notice a little chopping on the audio. This is probably just kind of the parallels driver, but uh, I mean that's just kind of a quick brief overview. Uh, I don't really get this whole dashboard when you've got the, the desktop. Uh, if you notice, if I jump over to the launch pad on the Mac, everything is integrate it right into it. You can stream right around, uh, much more fluent, and then you still have access to all your apps at the bottom, so I think it's put together a little better. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think of the Windows 8 consumer beta and what type of uh, problems that you're finding on the new OS.